Welcome into the Carolina Kitchen. We are making a wonderful dessert with our friend Peter Pole from the Posana Cafe. Hi. And it is a wonderful restaurant in downtown Asheville. Good to have you back. Oh, it's great to be back. Thank you, you so know, much. One of the things that you all focus on so much at your restaurant is showcasing local ingredients. Showcasing local ingredients. And we try to do it everywhere, including our desserts. All right. And what's for dessert today? For dessert is our apple crisp, Yum. our warm apple crisp. Okay. So we're going to try to make the crumble that um, we put on top. Okay. Um, we cut up a pound of butter. Okay. Very fine. And we'll start creaming that almost like making cookies. Oh. Okay. And we try to get that warm, broken into little pieces, and then we'll start adding the rest of the ingredients, which is brown sugar, Yum. white sugar, and some oats. Okay. We like to use a, a thicker cut oat, and then we slowly add what we call our AP flour mix. Okay. Because it's gluten free, we make our own mixes. And we would turn that a little bit lower and just slowly add that in. And you're trying to get granules out of the butter. You're trying to get them as small as possible. Like little beads of butter. Little beads and of butter. Flour connected to everything. Exactly. Also, with the local apples, we're going to peel them and just slice them kind of like that. We'll just throw these in the bowl. Any particular kind of apple you like to use? We like to use apples that seem to have a little bit of green and a little bit of red. Okay. So it's like a sweet tart combination. Fuji, Gala. Fuji, Gala, Cameo. Yum. These are actually um, pink ladies. Pink ladies. Oh, wonderful. We're going to mix some brown sugar, some cinnamon. Yum. And with the apples, you can let these sit for like an hour or two. Mm -hmm. We will put these oh, look at that. In a nice right into the dish. dish and then use some of our crumble. Mm -hmm. And I didn't cut up enough apples. You need to cut up more apples in this. Fill it up. Put the crumble on top. Yum. And now you just throw it in a 375 degree oven for about 15 minutes. And you want to look at it to make sure there's bubbling around the side. Wonderful. So while that bakes, we're going to tell you how you can get the recipe for this. Go to our website, WLOS.com. Click on the Carolina Kitchen link, and we'll get you all set with the instructions for this wonderful recipe here. This is so delicious, so easy. And Peter's going to take it over the top for us right now and show us how you like to serve it. Okay, so we've got a nice, beautiful crisp ready to go. So this is how it's finished when you, you know, after you reheat it. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we have our homemade ice cream. Yum. That you could get any kind of ice cream you'd like. Okay. Caramel sauce. Oh, you are kidding me. This is amazing. Which, it should come out. <laughs> we can heat that up. So you're supposed to drizzle the caramel sauce around. And then you take it and over then, the top. And then a little bit of sea salt on top. The salty so, sweetie is just a wonderful combination. That is such a winning combination. It's a great way to enjoy this. So there you go. An apple crisp, gluten-free, and you won't even know it because it tastes amazing. That's what's cooking in the Carolina kitchen.